My father, Eldon Teft, created the sculpture. The title of the piece is Naismith, the creator of basketball. The whole concept for making the sculpture goes back to about 2004. It wasn't really a commissioned job. Something was a good idea, he wanted to do it, he just did it, you know. And um, if somebody was interested in it later, then that all worked out great. One of the more lengthy and, and time-consuming aspects for my father would be in the actual creation of the model, where you're modeling the sculpture up in clay, full size. It was a process of several years, actually. He worked on it pretty steadily. Then this past year, when he passed away, and we're in the midst of this project, I, I don't have the creative talent in the same way that my father has. As far as going through the founding process and staying faithful to the work, I feel like I'm qualified and definitely it's a privilege. Once the clay model's done, of course, then we go through the process of making the rubber molds, create a wax copy, paint it on, apply it, and it solidifies. And so this wax pattern is going to be encased in another mold material that will withstand heat. And what we're going to do is eliminate the wax that's in the molds. 2,150, let's go with it. So now the hollow cavity that's left in the molds where the wax used to be is where we can now pour the bronze in. When you're handling that much molten metal at excess of 2,000 degrees, it's a, a very interesting, difficult, fun, and marginally dangerous <laughs> activity. Oh, whoa! Hey, I see some bronze. And then after we've poured the bronze in, we can break the mold apart and see what we have. Chasing work to clean it up with the casting, putting the parts together, the welding, the chasing out of those welds, the final buffing and polishing and finishing of the piece and putting the patina on it and sealing it. It, it just takes a lot of labor. The game of basketball grew up here at KU. If the birthplace was in Springfield, this was the cradle where the game grew up and developed. KU is extremely important to my father. It was a part of most of his life. He grew up here, went to University of Kansas, subsequently hired by KU to develop an actual sculpture program, both undergraduate and graduate. I think my father is just very pleased and, and honored to be able to, to do something to honor Naismith and his memory. He always envisioned that it would be prominently displayed at KU. I know he's very, very pleased when it became a reality that that was what was going to happen.